What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm back again for another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about A Star Is Born. I'm a little late on this movie, but here's a review for you guys. So what did I like about this movie? I like that Bradley Cooper is a really, really good actor. He hasn't been, his all the role that he picked or he is in are really good, they're really deep characters, they're really uh, damaged characters. That's what I would say. Damaged, they are what I like to say, they are human. They are, the, they are the reflection of the people in real life, supposed to be. And I like, uh, Lady, I believe it's Lady Gaga, don't quote me on this, but she did a really wonderful job in this movie. I could see her potentially being in future movies because of her performance was really good. Not Oscar worth not Oscar Oscar worthy, but it was good. It was solid. I believe her her struggle, I believe her happiness, I believe her anger, I believe her all of that. She she sold it to me. But I feel like Bradley Cooper was the more experienced, obviously, the more uh, he had that, he was able to develop that character. He was able to convey that character's um, suffering, his condition. I, I call it a condition, the human condition, the, the human suffering. That's what it really is. We all suffer that, you know, it's just part of being human. I like the fact that there is a lot of, uh, um, Music, not a lot of song, a lot of singing in this movie because it's about singing a movie. It's a star is born. That's what it is about, and you get to see the the whole what the uh, going on a tour really does to to a person. You know, it, it you know they get tired, they get exhausted, they get wiped out, they get really uh, uh, lonely. Basically, really lonely. They're um, they don't have friends. They don't. Maybe there's a chauffeur, chauffeurs, or maybe the parents, or the business partners, or uh, trainers, or dance trainer, that sort of thing. So they don't really have, you know, singers or rappers. They don't really have uh, personal friends. You know, like you and I have. You know, we have best friends. You know, we have best friends that got girls and guys, and we have families that are close to us. And that's what I like about this movie. It really kind of give us a glimpse of that. Um, so, and I also like, uh, the, uh, Bradley Cooper's singing. I'm surprised how well he was able to pull off that, uh, the singing. It kind of got that rock and roll, or not rock and roll, more like country singing. It was, he, I want to say he really nailed it. I feel like he actually took a class or actually studied the history and the art of being a country singer. You can tell in that in his performance. It's almost like Bradley Cooper can be a country singer. And he put it out there. I mean, if, to me, it felt like he was actually out there in a the crowd. He was doing drugs, you know, snorting cocaine, you know, but still singing and still playing guitar in front of thousands of, thousands of fans, you know, it's like, Bradley Cooper did his homework, did his studies to be a country singer. And I, he really did nail it, especially the ending when he, you know, uh, sang a song to uh, Ali. That's the, our main, his partner, his uh, significant other in his life, you know. And that really turns me off because that was the last song we ever heard. Or she, and plus the and she ever heard him sing to her, that was truly sad, really really sad, and uh, I I'm gonna see if I can find the song and listen to what it actually mean because I'm hardly hearing it. I don't really hear the song that well, so like I like I want to listen to the soundtrack, but that last ending really hit me because you know, a main character die, and she had to go on with her life and perform the one song that he wrote. And that was really sad. It hit me, you know. It's like, here is the man of her life, 
had committed suicide. I don't mean to ruin it for you guys, but he committed suicide. And he wrote this one last song. And he sang that one last song for her and to her. Really sad for, for our main character. I would say it would be sad, truly sad for anybody who would be in that position. To me, a person who is as damaged but as wonderful as they are. And they are, they are succumbed to their suffering. That is truly sad. But it's also a celebration of their life. I always look at both sides. That's just me. But now let's talk about the con. What did I not like? I did not like that. I wish there were more... Um, a little bit character development on both characters on Bradley. You get to see a little hear a little bit about Bradley's character and his relationship between his father. Don't hear much about his mother. Uh, we hear a little bit about his brothers, and we don't really hear see much about Ali's her 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 friends. We see a little bit in that gay bar or the gay club, but that was it. You know, we don't see her her inner friends. Her uh, inner friend circles, we didn't really get to see that. Uh, how, you know, this, you know, this relationship could really mess up both of their friends, their inner circle friends, that sort of thing, you know. That nothing is as perfect as the movie shows. Because in real life, when you meet someone and you're going on and you, you are dating someone or you're getting to know someone, uh, it affects other people that are in your life. And I didn't kind of did not see that in this movie, and I also did not like that. I did not see more uh, uh, issues, couple issues. You know how couples have issues and they argue, that sort of thing. I didn't did quite get to see that. We get to see a big one, but it wasn't. Uh, it was kind of mon monumental, but it doesn't have little thing that leads to it. You know. So that was the one thing. And then another thing, I could not hear Bradley Cooper talking. Maybe I should, when I go watch a movie, I should get a closed caption so I can see what the, what, what the characters are saying, you know, because I'm already hearing. So that's the one thing that kind of bugged me. And I didn't under, quite hear or understand what the Bradley Cooper was saying because every time he was talking, he was looking down, you know, at the floor or some, you know. Or drinking, you know, that sort of thing. So that's why I did not like... Not because of the character. It was just, I couldn't hear. It was my own uh, hearing loss. So that was kind of hindering me. So let's go down to the rating. What would I give this rating? i give it a, uh, a 7 out of 10. I truly didn't... I, I liked it. It was really... Uh, 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 it was really... A, a really interesting movie. It really is unique, very memorable to me. It, because the reason I say that is about these two persons that they, they meet, they fell in love, they got married. Uh, one was a drug addict and the other was a rising star. She was the, the light and he was kind of the, the dim, the light that's going out. It, it's a really symbolic movie in some way. And it shows a lot of human suffering. and. I like seeing that. I don't like seeing that, but it reflects the reality of where we're living. We live in the real world, and there are people who are suffering from drugs, from all sort of sickness, or illness in the world, and that this really hit me. It's just like a really good movie. It's really about love. It's about uh, a perseverance. It's about duties. About uh, um putting through, you know, so that's why I really like this movie a lot. Uh, not the greatest, but it is good. I say it's a 7 out of 10. It's better than Killer Hunter. Uh, I would say go watch it if you have the time. You will enjoy it. You may tear up a little bit, especially at the end. It did, it did really hit me because, you know, I know a few people who, are, who committed suicide. So it really it kind of hit home for me. So there you go, guys. 7 out of 10. Go watch it if you have the time. But most importantly, guys, I want to say thank you so much for your time to watching my movie review of A Star Is Born. 
please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content on there for you guys to check out. Please do so. But most importantly, thank you and take care. Bye-bye.